So let's get acquainted with PAWS, which is the college's course management system, with this video. I'm going to start at the college's main website, which is www.southwest.tn.edu. Some students start with the My Southwest, you know, my.southwest.tn.edu website. What I'm going to suggest to you is rather than starting from either of these sites where you click pause or click a pause icon, that you actually bookmark a direct link to the pause system. So you open your browser and you simply replace the www or else the word my. You know, in other words, before this first dot, you simply type the word e-learn. Notice there's no spaces. So elearn.southwest dot tn dot e d u okay so here we are at the main page and now you can bookmark this so that you can enter the system very quickly at any time make sure you read to see if there's any important messages uh, that are posted here so that you'll be aware you log in using your username and password that gets you into all the other systems at the college When you first log into the system, you're going to be on the My Home page. Now, when you're on the My Home page, you can go directly into email, and I'll talk more about that in another video. Um, the neat thing about clicking the email icon at this point is that it won't be filtered based on the class that you're in. So this is a great time to check your pause email. You can also go across uh, and you'll see student and then your login name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the drop down box. Notice that I could log out or I can adjust my profile. Once you're in your profile, you can share as much or as little information as you want. As you scroll through here, you're going to see a whole host of information. Enter whatever you'd like, and then you can simply click Save and Close. Now, one thing that's kind of nice to do is to go ahead and upload a picture uh, as a way of introducing yourself to your other classmates. Okay, so I'm done. I'm going to simply click on Close, and that will return me to the My Home page. Now, again, when we first log into the system, we're at My Home. We can come and scroll all the way down. Now, um, as an instructor, I have a lot of extra things that you will not have to scroll down through. Uh, you should see whatever the most current semester is, and then a list of all the classes that you're enrolled in. So, if I want to investigate a particular class, let's see, I'll look at the finance class. And I should see some instructor information, perhaps a course welcome message that tells me a little bit about how to get started. And I encourage you to explore that. Now, every course is set up different, and so I encourage you to explore every class that you're in. Just like a, a sociology teacher would teach differently than an English teacher and may set up their class differently from a math teacher or a business teacher, you know, the, um, there are going to be differences. And so explore all the different classes. For example, you may notice, uh, let me pick uh, this one here, a business statistics course, which would be different than a personal finance course. Um, here I've got a picture of the textbook, again some contact information. It looks like in this class there's an external website I need to be aware of. So each course is going to be a little bit different and I encourage you to explore those. Now while I'm inside this course, let me show you that I now have another menu system. The most important thing to begin to explore is content, especially in an online course. We can't pass out handouts, and so we're going to put that material in content. Also, it will tell you on a week-by-week -week or chapter-by-chapter -chapter basis what you need to be focused on. I will cover each one of these menu options in a subsequent video, but I encourage you to click and explore. The more time you spend in the system, the more comfortable you're going to be with it to return back to the main you know, uh, entry point of the system, I just simply click My Home. Now one final thing uh, to look at, we've got some help options there, don't forget that, but I can click on Profile.
and this returns me to the profile page and again I just encourage you to put some information in here that you can share uh, with your fellow students now remember that is going to be visible to other students so once you look around you get a little comfortable with the system and you'll see some links some drop down menus for resources student services help and explore those and don't forget when you're done to log out.